Like, who put these up here? Right. You know? <laughs> One of these days, I want to see something right. move through. You're like, I knew there was something right, like else on Walmart Mars. Like a Walmart or a big McDonald's or something. I knew there was something there. No, it's cool. You can't get enough of that stuff. That is fascinating stuff, Anthony. Hey, guys, reminds me of a text I got from one of my buddies, uh, you know, the past few weeks when they, you know, we got to Mars there with the, with the rover. Is that what it's called, a rover? And uh, uh, the picture uh, off into the distance behind one of the hills, <laughs> you know, one of the first, it was, you know, a fake photo, but it, one of the first photos back from Mars had like a, a sign for McDonald's off in the distance amidst nothing. It was just kind of funny, but it uh, made me think of that when we saw uh, that and heard the winds actually kind of creepy. We've got a similar situation ongoing right now outdoors with uh, winds cranked up, gusting to about 35 miles per hour in Grand Rapids and sustained pretty substantial as well along the lakeshore. We've seen common gusts over the past few hours to near 50 miles per hour. So more on that to come. Grand Rapids today got to 67 degrees. The record was uh, 69 degrees though, so did not break a record locally and we have not the past few days locally, but uh, we have across the region. Look at this today. Lansing with the asterisks around it. That's a broken record. Holland, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, high temperatures, upper 60s to around 70 degrees. Now, you know, you can get these surges of, of warmth of mild in March from time to time, but they don't last a real long time because the, usually some cooler air does follow. If you recall back in 2012, we had that massive warm spell uh, later in the month, I think closer to like March 20th, something like that, where we got into the 80s. So, uh, of course, that was truly record breaking. But there are occasions in history where you do start to get higher, much higher than what we get uh, for our peaks in January and February. So we're getting to that time of year and occasionally you can get a rumble of thunder, a strike of lightning. That's possible here overnight tonight with a band of showers that will be coming through the region between about 2 and 5 a.m. Some sunshine returns, though, pretty quickly by mid morning and beyond tomorrow. We'll be a little bit cooler, but again, cooler is all relative. I mean, we've had highs near 70 degrees, at least upper 60s here in GR. We say cooler and we're going to spend most of the daylight hours tomorrow in the lower half of the 50s. That's still pretty nice with a good deal of sunshine. Temps right now still in the lower 60s. That's amazing. We were doing the six o'clock show and we were sitting at 65. Well, we're sitting at 63 right now. Why would that be? Well, because we've got strong southerly winds pulling mild air into Michigan, also a lot of cloud cover, so there's no really radiational cooling at this point. We're maintaining this wind flow out of the due south or the south southwest and gusting here in Muskegon at 47 miles per hour. We have had gusts, though, at 50 miles per hour from Holland northward, even Benton Harbor. Nothing to sneeze at, though it has come down to 26 with the gusts. I saw 40 just a few moments behind us. Wind advisories go through 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, but uh, I got news for you, folks. It's it's going to be windy really all day long on Thursday, just not quite as windy as what we'll have between now and the next few hours, but uh, certainly noticeable and definitely what you would classify as a breezy, if not downright windy, southwest at 15 to 25 tomorrow. Look at the icons, though. A little rain droplet. That's getting out of here at 7 a.m. Temperatures running in the 50s, the cooler air advecting in through the morning hours, but eventually sunshine comes out and will bounce back a couple degrees, I think, into the afternoon and then start to settle back about 4, 5 o'clock as the cooler air wins the battle. We've got nothing happening now granted there could be a little bit of sprinkler drizzle action out there did read that off the models earlier and perhaps it's showing that on the satellite radar over west michigan right now that's probably overdone but there may be some sprinkles out there the main band of showers which is not wide only on the order of about 30 to 40 miles wide that'll cruise across and it could be a rumble of thunder strike of lightning for somebody that won't be a real widespread and then the clouds start to really give way here by mid-morning into the afternoon probably barely if any a cloud in the sky at that point Derek and Ryan. So we've got a really nice Thursday shaking out once this rainfall gets out of here very early on. It's going to go cooler over the weekend, but nothing important. We've got sunshine, mixed clouds, uh, rain or snow shower late Monday, perhaps. Otherwise, it's dry into the middle of next week. Spring has sprung pretty much. Thank you, Anthony. Meanwhile,